Have you ever wondered what these instruments were? Well, today we'll be discussing Indian classical instruments. Indian classical music has a wide array of instruments. In fact, it is so wide that it is impossible to cover all of them in this one video. So today we'll be looking at the ones that you may more commonly come across. Indian classical instruments can be classified into four categories, where the first two categories make up the melodic instruments, while the last two make up the rhythmic instruments. Let's start with the melodic instruments. Our first category is Tantuvadya, also known as chordophones. These consist of string instruments. We can have string instruments that are played by plucking. These are known as the Tat or Nakkajvadya. These include Veena, Sitar, and Tanpura. We also have string instruments that are played with the bow, which are known as the Vitadvadya. These include violin and sarangi. Some string instruments are also outside the Tat and Vitadvadya, for instance the Santur. This is a string instrument played by plucking the strings with a hammer. Our second category is Sushir Vadya, also known as aerophones. This consists of wind instruments. Some wind instruments are mouth-blown, such as the Indian flute, also known as Basuri. As well as Shehnai. Some wind instruments can be bellow-blown, such as the harmonium. Now, moving on to the rhythmic instruments, our third categories of Nantavadya or membranophones, which comprises of the different varieties of drums. For instance, we have Mridangam, which is predominantly used in Carnatic music. We also have Tabla, which is predominantly used in Hindustani music. These instruments are played using the palms and fingers. On the other hand, we also have drums that can be played with sticks or hammers. These include dhol and chogra. For the last category, we have kanavadya, also known as idiophones which consists of percussion instruments, aside the drums, that are made of metal, clay, or wood. They often require no tuning and used as a side rhythm in addition to the membranophones. Some examples include the ghatam, the manjira, kanjira, And Kartal. While all Indian classical instruments fall under these four categories, in today's state we may see Indian concert using Indian instruments that fall outside these categories. For instance, we could have electronic instruments such as the electronic tanpura and the electronic tabla. Here at IIE, we foster a culture of experimentation and innovation by integrating instruments such as the piano, guitar, and ukulele along with Indian classical instruments. By doing so, we hope to provide a platform for instrumentalists of different genres to explore the numerous facets of Indian classical music. Thank you for watching.